What's going on guys? That's right, Water Monkey's got a case of the kilt fever in a bad way. <laughs> so basically I was in the market for uh, a new kilt to go hiking with and I was going through the different vendors and I came across a vendor by the name of Sport Kilt and I noticed they had a hiking kilt and I was browsing through the three selections that they had I instantly fell in love with two of their kilts. The Water Monkey Blue and the Gangsta Black. Now let me put on one of these kilts just to show you the features that they offer. Wonder Kilt Powers Activate! And that's how you put on a kilt ladies and gentlemen. That's how you do it. Here it is. Sport Kilt Hiking Kilt. The entire kilt is made from a microfiber cloth. I clocked it in on my scales at 10 ounces even. The normal length of their kilts is 22 and a half inches long, but me being vertically challenged, that was not going to work out for me very well. So to uh, get it modified, there's actually instructions on the website. What you do is you find out where you want the kilt to lay. You kneel down on the ground, and then you take a measuring tape. You measure to where the kilt gently grazes on the ground. And for me, that was 21 inches. So I sent an email over to the customer service. I got in contact by a man named Seamus. And I asked him if he could alter the kilt. He said, no problem. So my kilt's just a little bit shorter than the normal ones out there. The kilt actually has uh, a nice elastic waistband for comfort. To actually realistically put on the kilt, it has Velcro. Oh, you thought you were going to get a show? It's PG, baby. Relax. <laughs> so, getting back to putting on the kilt. You take one side, place it on, attach it to the Velcro, and that's it. Every one of their kilts actually comes with a standard hidden pocket right here. So, if you want to stow away your cash, you got some credit cards or your identification while you're hiking, little spot right here, stuff in your uh, identification or some money, bam, you're good to go. You also have an option to place in what's called pockets, which I did. They're actually quite hidden, They're hidden very well, and they go pretty deep. So, I normally keep a few items on my person, and I usually request any kilt that have some pockets, so this was a great addition. Let me show you what I normally put in there. Map. Fire kit. Camera. And I like to keep my knife handy. There you go. All that fits into the kilt. No problem. Now you notice this kilt flows very nicely. In fact, a lot better than the other kilt I had. A lot more free range of motion and it is considerably lighter than my other kilt. Now, one thing I want to mention is the pockets do become a little bit of a problem when you're actually wearing a backpack and I'll show you why. I like my kilt to sit right about just below my belly button. Uh, throw on a backpack and getting to the pockets becomes a little bit of a problem. So you're going to have to mess around with the kilt a little bit just so you get and wiggle your way into and get what you need out of your pockets. That's the only slight bother I found about where the pockets are located. Other than that, I think this hiking kilt is going to work out really great on my next adventure. I can't wait to put this thing out in the end of June and do some uh, nice uh, 50 or 60 mile hikes in the Appalachian Trail. Hope you've enjoyed this video and uh, hope to see you on the trail real soon.